Knees for Jesus. Now, have any one of you ever thought, well, why knees for Jesus? What, what is the point of knees for Jesus? Like, yeah, I get it. Knees for Jesus, we have to pray. We've been taught how to pray ever since we learned how to speak. And so why knees for Jesus? Why knees for Jesus? But you know what? I believe that the Holy Spirit has inspired for this focus on this topic of prayer because we as the church, we as children of God have completely forgotten and lost sight of what prayer was all about, what prayer is supposed to be about. And we treat prayer as something that is kind of like a vending machine. As if like, if we just put the right amount of words, if we just structure the prayer so perfectly, God will answer our prayers. As if he wasn't going to answer our prayers. And we think that because of our actions, because of our words, we think that he'll bless us even more as if he wasn't good to us before. But you know what, we sometimes Sometimes we kind of become like the Pharisee who prayed, who prayed to himself and said, you know what, God, I thank you because I'm not like Sister Precious. I thank you so much, and I'm so glad that I'm not like my brother A, my brother B. I'm so thankful, God, that I, pr I pay tithes of all that I possess, that I, that I fast twice a week. And sometimes the reason why God doesn't answer our prayers, and this is the reason why, is because we pray to ourselves. We, like the Pharisee, we pray to ourselves, not even addressing our prayers up to God. We become like the Pharisee, and we, be, we start to just pray all these fancy, using fancy words and not even being completely honest and earnest and just using simple words to talk to God. And then so we begin to kind of use prayer as a, as a form to just say, yeah, I, I prayed about it and so this is what I'm going to do. And we don't even wait for God's guidance and His leading and what He wants to imp impress upon us. And you know, we're so, we're so self-congratulating we're so self-congratulating. We pack our backs, we pat our backs all the time saying, oh yeah, you know what? I gave a Bible study today. I did so well for you, Lord, today. I spoke in front of PIC today, Lord. I'm so good. And we become so prideful and so inflated that we become unaware of our need or any desperate help from Jesus. But you know, when you take a look at the life of Jesus as a perfect example for us, a sinless human being, even as a human, even right before his crisis, he recognized his desperate need of prayer. And you know what the word desperate means? Desperate is actually, it means a feeling or a showing or involving a hopeless sense that a situation is so bad, it's impossible to deal with. Now, have you ever felt that way? My brothers and sisters, we are living in a time where homes are being ripped apart. Relationships are being broken. Morals are being degraded. We have natural disasters that are going on around us. Hatred, abuse, and evil is surrounding us. If there was ever a time for us to pray, every time that we desperately needed prayer, it would be now. Now is the time. Now is the time to pray because there is no other way out. There is, no, there is nothing else that we can do in order to help strengthen us, in order for us to be prepared for our crisis. Now, if you take a look at the life of Judas and Peter, both were very, very desperate. One prayed and one did not. Take a look at David and Saul. Again, both were desperate. One prayed to God and one did not. And you take a look at the results of their life, the outcome of their life. 
Prayer, my friends, prayer makes all the difference in the world. It makes all the difference in the world. Knees for Jesus. So what is our purpose? Our purpose is that every knee of every mother, of every father, of every grandparent, of every aunt, uncle, grandchild, teacher, student, faculty member, every church member, every member, all of their knees would be consecrated to Jesus. Now, if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 13. And I'm sure all of you know this verse by heart. Jeremiah 29 verse 13, and it says, And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. When your knees are for Jesus, you shall find Jesus. When your knees are for Jesus, you find Jesus. Everything that we do, everywhere that we go, our attempt, our attempt is to seek Christ. In everything, at all times, wherever we go, whether it be at the store, at a gas station, in our homes, in our dorms, with our families and friends, everything we are to seek Christ first. Now, I want you to notice here with me in the verse, it says, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Seek him with all your heart. Submit and surrender your whole heart to Jesus. Devote your whole heart to Jesus. And when you, and when you have done that, there would be no more space for anything else. When every piece of your heart, when every part of your heart is submitted to God, you'll have no more space for any selfishness. You wouldn't have any more room for, for pride or for worldly pleasures. You would have made that space so that Jesus could fill you, that Jesus can dwell in you and in your heart. Knees for Jesus. That is what we desperately need right now, today. When every member of AUP or PIC has been consecrated to the Lord, then we would finally fulfill our purpose and our mission and what we were created for in the first place. Because we weren't created to gain popularity or fame or riches of the world, to get high accredita accreditations and, and whatnot and be recognized for having the best campus crusades and the best week of prayers. No, our sole purpose is to win souls for Christ. That is our main goal, is to win souls for Christ. Now, how can we win souls for Christ? if we ourselves are falling, if our leaders are falling. Beloved, what is desperately needed today in our world, our knees for Jesus. Will you consecrate your knees to him? Will you fully submit and surrender your whole life to Jesus? And as my brothers and sisters, um, sing the song. May you bow your heads and really meditate upon the lyrics of the song and really fully consecrate your life and devote your life to the one who loves you and deserves all of your love. Holy Father, love me still I have fallen from your will I am broken Hear my humble cry My cry
have wondered